Hi everybody, Trish Palmer here from Palin and Palmer Specialty Hypnosis Training. So today we're up to episode 25 and I'm going to be talking about coaching, mentoring. You know those people that always want you to employ them because they can teach you something better. Well let's go through some of the pros and cons, the facts and the bullshit and actually find out some truth about it, okay? So mentoring, coaching, it's actually a very loose topic. It really is. And the truth is, at the end of the day, we are all mentors and we are all coaches, every single one of us. So you would give a pre-talk to someone, you'll go, say, come over here, I'd like to talk to you. Or maybe you give some advice, go and buy that can of soup. Hi, Benita. So you give some advice, so you'll be like, go and buy that kind of soup. You're a mentor, you're a coach. Maybe you give words of encouragement, you're like, yes, come on, you can do it, kick that goal. Maybe you just like to give an opinion of some sort. That's still mentoring and that's still coaching. Or maybe you do a demonstration of some sort where you put a Facebook Live out there or you have a particular show, you wear a particular makeup or something like that. That's all still a demonstration. So the truth is that everybody is a coach or a mentor on some level. But the better question is, how do you actually find one? We all have a coach or a mentor, blah, blah, blah. And as much as you might be thinking, hang on, no, I don't. No, I don't. Actually, you do. Because there's still someone out there that you resonate with. Whether it's a particular musical band that you follow because you buy all their albums, they're still a coach or a mentor to you because when they you hear that music, all of a sudden you're like, yeah, I'm totally going to go running or I'm going to clean the house or... Or, you know, I'm going to relax more because this feels great. Maybe you've got someone that you watch in the movies. You'll only go and see movies because that particular actor is in it. And that's because they are coaching or mentoring you in some way. The better question is, is your coach compatible with you? Do you actually get what you're looking for from this coach? And some aren't. As much as we love these coaches, some... Some of them are just horrible. Some of them are terrible. We like them as people. We like them as what they're doing, but their teaching style doesn't work with you. Or perhaps they're not giving you them their full selves. And yes, I have a mentor. I honestly believe we all need someone to look up to and to ask that extra piece of advice for. So how do you find someone? Firstly, don't sign up with a coach on a whim. Just because they've got all the lights and the pictures and the and the jazz and the snares, that doesn't mean you should sign up with them. I lost a lot of money by doing that because everybody else was jumping around around me and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it too. And then when I signed up, I was like, what a waste of bloody money. Because at the end of the day, there was always a masterclass or always a VIP section or always an upsell of some sort. So there was never just you found that coach that you resonated with. So don't just sign up with someone on a whim. Don't just go, oh yeah, that sounds good and I'll sign up. Because you will waste your money. Go with someone that resonates with you. We offer a mentoring program, but at the end of the day, I have told... Hi, Rosalie. How are you going, beautiful? I have told some of the people that have wanted to sign up with us, if they get better results with somebody else, then I'd rather go with them to help the industry grow and get bigger. For me, as a mentor, this is not about making more money. This is about creating an industry that is strong and that actually gets some results. This is about business helping business. Coaches, mentors, whatever you want to call them, the name doesn't matter. It's the content. You could go with someone named Fluffy McGee with gumboot hat and all of a sudden you'll be like, oh, really, I don't know much about Fluffy McGee. But all of a sudden their content is exactly perfect of what you need it for. So just it doesn't matter what they call themselves. It doesn't matter if they call themselves a guru or a specialist or a mentalist or the world's number one blah 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 it doesn't matter look at the content really have a look at it and make sure that it's going to come across for the way you want it to and guess what value is not dollar based so many people are looking at their money in their pocket and going oh but what if i waste my money You've wasted more money buying sandwiches or KFC or Maccas at times when you had food in the fridge and you didn't need to. So value is not dollar-based. Stop looking for it. Desire is the value. 
I have a mentor that I signed up with quite a few years ago and I just desired to work with them. That's what it was. And every time her program came up, I was like, wow, that's so much money. And then one day I was sitting there and I'm like, you know what, stuff it. I'm just going to do it. And I did it. I got all this wonderful content. I've now evolved past her now. And at the end of the day, I'm helping out some of her students with what it is that I know. So value is not dollar-based, it's desire-based. If it's going to get you where you want to go, then that's the best worth that you're ever going to have for yourself. So invest in yourself. Stop looking for the cheapest deal or stop going for the deal because it's got a VIP section that's only an extra $6 or something like that doesn't matter if that six dollars works out to extra value maybe you're not going to use that content so you're better off keeping your six bucks so what to look for walk the walk not just talking the talk you want someone that's actually been there and done it it's as simple as that there are heaps and heaps of mentors out there coaches whatever you want to call them these days and there's heaps of them out there that are just recycling other people's content or just putting up something else of their own there are heaps of mentors out there that are not actually working with clients or they may be working with one client a week and then over exuberating how much they're actually working. I'm always busy. Actually, you're probably not. When you define you're always busy, you're probably getting your hair or your nails done. And that's what it is at the end of the day. So look for someone who's walking the walk and not just talking the talk. There are some real plastic people out there that are more than happy to take your dollars, pretend you're all nechi huggy, and they're not really, okay? Make sure that you find someone who is accessible. There was one particular mentor that I went to sign up with at one stage, and it was going to cost me over $10,000. And when I was in the free section of it, no, not the free section, I do lie. Uh, when I was in the first tier of the mentoring, every time I asked questions, which I thought were basic questions, I got told that's in the masterclass, that's in the VIP. And then I just Google it and I found the information for free. So I was like, why would I actually make do this? And then when I actually did their course online and I was on their Facebook page and stuff like that, they never answered any of the questions. They were never accessible. They, I would send them a message. I'm more than happy to wait two or three days for a response, but I'd never get that response. Or by the time I got the response, it was like a week later. Make sure you find someone that's accessible, that's going to apply themselves within the Facebook group, within the, the course structure or within their messages. You need to make sure they are accessible because, hey, sometimes you might have a random question that is really, really simple and you're just so confused. You're like, nah, I'm overwhelmed. I'm giving up. So make sure it's someone that's accessible. Make sure also it's someone that's genuinely giving and is there. It's always there that they're not holding back. Make sure it's someone that's not going to constantly upsell you or is riding other people's coattails. One thing, this is just a personal opinion of mine, one thing that absolutely drives me bonkers is all these people saying, I'm trained by blah blah so I know the best. That to me is riding a coattail, so that doesn't mean you're the best because at the end of the day, if you're not doing it, chances are you're not the best at it anyway. And who is the best at someone? It's contrary to opinion. So make sure you're going with someone who's not just riding on the coattail of another person. There was one particular mentor that I was so keen to sign up with them, I really was, and then I actually found out where they were getting their content from, and their content was just an upcycled regurgitation of a free one that was going on Facebook anyway. And I was like, well, why would I pay for your service when it's just free on Facebook? So... Make sure you're not going with someone who's just riding up another co person's cocktail, um, cocktail, <laughs> uh, coattail. And also, is there always an upsell? When I do my mentoring, there is no masterclass, there is no VIP. You want to know? Ask me, I'll tell you. It's as simple as that. I cannot stand these people that are constantly doing this whole, you know, if you've got more money, we'll tell you more. At the end of the day, if you're fighting for an industry that you want to be stronger, it shouldn't be about more money. It should be about helping the human race get to a better place with their mental health, their spiritual health, their physical health. It's not about, well, if you want to know more, you've got to pay more. Make sure you, with your mentor that they're not holding back. Sometimes you'll actually find some people that when you ask them a question, they're like, oh, well, 
you could do that. And it's like, well, actually, that to me tells me you don't have the answer. So they're holding back some kind of information. Or maybe they just resonate that plasticity where they are a plastic person, okay? A really, really big one that I've come across a lot lately is uh, mentors and coaches that are not up to date. Hey, I admit, technology is moving fast and staying up to date can be very, very difficult. But I mean up to date as in they've still got that 80s selling module in their head or that middle class money mindset thinking. They're not actually going outside that. They're like, oh, social media doesn't work or, you know, I'm still using a typewriter and that sort of stuff. Go with someone that's up to date. Hey, I'm all for all for um, um, old school stuff, I really am. But at the end of the day, you need to move with the times and you need to stay up to date. Can they easily and effortlessly find the information for you when it comes to your technology and stuff like that that you're a little bit stuck on? So make sure they have an up-to-date mindset and that they're actually going with the world and not against it. Are they willing to be educated by the peers um, like I said before, I've had quite a few mentors over the years and I had one mentor. She was always right. She always knew the information. And I was like, hang on, I'm pretty sure that blah, blah said that last week and you just regurgitated it. So when I do my mentoring, if I don't know someone, I'm willing to pass it over to some of my students and say, hey, does anybody know this information? Because I'm not aware of it. I can't have 100% knowledge of 100% things. It's just that simple. But I can have 100% knowledge on the things that I do do and make that awesome. So make sure your mentor is willing to be educated by, by you as a student and is open to that. If they're going to be constantly giving you criticism or sort of, you know, pressing you or um, making you feel pressured or always upselling to you, chances are they're not willing to move from their ways to upgrade to any other system. And that to me is the difference between a leader, someone that's helping out the industry and a boss, someone's there to make money. Make sure also the last point I really, really want to stress is that the person is engaging. Make sure that they're actually answering your questions, that you can actually talk to them if you need to. Um, like I said, when I had my mentor, I felt like I couldn't talk to her because she was always too busy fluffing around um, being bigger and better than what she really was. And I don't think that's a bad thing for her, but when I invested money in her, I want her to be engaging, not only in the content that she's posting, but also with her website and her students. I want to be able to access them and I want to be able to talk to them on an, a ground level. So it's okay if you just want to have a couple or something like that. What's wrong with that? So check out those points before you decide to employ someone. Make sure that there's someone that you can actually talk to because guess what? You're going to have questions that will pop up and you really don't want to have to be asking them. And then all of a sudden they're like, no, that's in the VIP section. I'm not going to answer that. So check out that and make sure that your uh, mentor or coach that you actually employ ticks all of those boxes. So I'd like you to, to tell you about my mentoring. Now, like I said before, at the end of the day, if you find a mentor that resonates with you and gets you the results that you want so that this, this industry can grow stronger, I would rather you go with them. But I'll show you what we have on offer. So this is our mentoring program. Now, this is all self-paced and it's all online. You don't have to worry about getting it done within a week or two. We're not like that. We're very, very cruisy here. So we have lots and lots of stuff going on in our mentoring. We teach you how to automate and integrate appointments and scheduling systems because, hey, at the end of the day, I don't want to play phone swapsies with my clients. I actually want them to be able to book their appointments and then all of a sudden I wake up and I'm like, oh, I've got, a, got an appointment at 2.30. Oh, I've got a, I'm booked out on Friday, etc., etc. You want to make that as easy as possible and as automated as possible. We'll give you all the business templates. We're teaching our students now how to attract clients, how to create professional videos for free. So if you want to create videos like what I've been doing, I can teach you how to do all that how to do conversational selling. There's wonderful people out there with this really great service, but pff, as soon as it comes to selling themselves, they get this verbal diarrhea, and all of a sudden you're like, do you really know what you're talking about? Because you're just like, bleh, at the moment. We'll teach you how to do Facebook ads that work, okay? There's a lot of people out there that go, you don't get return on investment, and blah, blah, blah. 
Well, I don't know about you, but my Facebook ads are between one and eight cents now, so I can afford that, and I'm pretty sure that you can too. We'll also teach you how to how to use Facebook to create your sales and to list build your email automator. How to do group sessions. There's heaps and heaps of stuff in here. If you don't want, if you want to learn hypnosis, we can teach you some hypnosis. We we'll give you away give away all of our scripts and our audios each and every month. How to create your online content and how to do online sessions as well. How to package and price your service. There's heaps and heaps of stuff in here. So tap on one of the links below and check it out. Have a squeeze around. You can also expand out all of this stuff. So if you expand it out, it'll actually tell you what is in the module as well. So have a look. See if you like what's going on. And if you do, by all means, pop up to the top part and yours will say subscribe here. Mine says resume, obviously, because I created it. <laughs> So yeah, so pop on, jump jump on one of the links below. And if you'd like to support one of our students, tap on one of their links. They love it as well. So jump on board. Go get someone. It doesn't even matter if it's not us. Go and get someone to help you out. Like I said before, you can't have 100% knowledge of all things. You need to have 100% knowledge of what it is that you're good at and then outsource the rest. Invest in your own learning. The only way that this computer up here manages to upgrade and stay healthy is by learning. And be open to feedback. Don't be afraid to actually say to the mentor who has failed in your course, who has done this. Do you offer this? Will you do this for me? So that that way you know exactly what the expectations are. And the biggest point of all is to never give up. If you really, really have something to offer this world, there's always an opportunity. Like Robert Kiyosaki said, there's four trillion opportunities in the stock market floating around in the universe at any second of any day. Don't tell me there's not opportunity out there. So never give up. Keep on going. When is the best time to plant an oak tree? Yesterday. But the second best time to plant an oak tree is today because in years time you have this beautiful, beautiful tree growing and everybody can enjoy its fruits and its shade. So that's a wrap for us. We are all done for this series, but we're not really done yet. We'll be back in 2019 with even more content to share with you and even more freebies. So stay tuned and have an awesome Christmas. It's really not that far away. If you'd like the free hypnosis induction pack, then please tap on the link below. It's completely free. These are inductions that I use myself. And if there's anything you'd like me to do a video on, please let me know via email, inbox, even our webpage, palinandpalmer.com. And that's the place to go for some specialty hypnosis training. We will be going live on our Facebook page as well, just to keep you guys all up to speed through December. But otherwise from that, it's time to go and have an awesome Christmas. And we will be back in 2019 with an even bigger free series. I've worked it out already. And we're also doing a podcast. So stay tuned for that. So if you can't tune in when you're watching, then you can tune in later on by listening. But otherwise than that, have an awesome day, everybody. Bye-bye.